hello everybody and welcome to yet another wonderful video on your favorite youtube channel bhanzu and this is your educator hari priya and today i am here to answer the question that i get the most especially when i'm teaching exponents and powers is why any number raised to the power 0 is 1 how is it mathematically possible a lot of you ask me this question so let's decode that today in this video but do not forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the you know hit the like button and subscribe to the channel and along with that do share this video with all your friends so let us get started but first of all i want you guys to understand about what are exponents the basic definition of an exponent now 8 to the power 3 is said to be in exponential form why because it has a base and it has an exponent or a power so the base here is 8 and the power or the exponent is 3 all right so what do i mean by this notation 8 to the power 3 means 8 is multiplied 3 times 8 into 8 into 8 now let us practice before we move forward what do i mean by 3 to the power 4 3 okay it is 3 into 3 into 3 into 3 that is 3 to the power 4 what is y to the power 5 is it applicable to variables as well yes so y multiplied with y multiplied with y multiplied with y multiplied with y five times now what is 6 into 6 into 6 into 6 into 6 6 is getting multiplied five times so 6 to the power 5 so the exponent or the power will tell you how many times the number the number is getting multiplied and 6 is called as the base now x to the power 3 y, u to the power 4 so you have x multiplied with x multiplied with x three times and u multiplied with u multiplied with u multiplied with u four times so now you know the basics of exponents right now what is y to the power 0 we all know that y to the power 0 is 1 in that case any number to the power 0 even if i take 7 by 6 to the power 0 it is 1 minus 7 to the power 0 it is 1 if i take a decimal 3.14 to the power 0 is also 1 but the main important question here is why is it so now i have two proofs for you in today's class now we know that y when multiplied with 0 or any number when multiplied with 0 is 0 but any number raised to the power 0 why is it not 0 i know this is incorrect right but why is it like that that's what we're going to decode now let's look closely on how to write exponents the correct way okay so when i said 2 to the power 3 all you guys did was 2 into 2 into 2 but the correct way to write is 1 multiplied with 2 into 2 into 2 because any number multiplied with 1 the value is not going to change right now similarly if i say 2 to the power 0 so what do we do first i multiply i take 1 multiplied with 2 is getting multiplied 0 times matlab there's nothing here it's just 1 understood yeah now i know you're still not satisfied with this proof you're like okay but i need to i need to know more that's what you're thinking i have another proof now guys please carefully concentrate here a little of maths we're going to use 3 to the power 4 is 81 we all know how are we getting it 3 into 3 into 3 into 3 we're multiplying 3 four times now the same 3 to the power 4 i can write it as 3 to the power 5 divided by 3 i can do that how what is 3 to the power 5 3 into 3 into 3 into 3 into 3 five times divided by 3 so if i cancel out 1 what am i left with i'm still left with 3 into 3 into 3 into 3 which is 3 to the power 4 hai na so i am writing 3 to the power 4 as 3 to the power 5 divided by 3 the value is not going to change so using the same logic i can write 3 to the power 
as 3 to the power 4 divided by 3. Hi Anna, what is 3 to the power 4? 3 into 3 into 3 into 3 divided by 3. 3 and 3 will get cancelled. So you are left with 3 to the power 3 itself. Right? So I can write my 3 to the power 3 as 3 to the power 4 divided by 3. Now similarly following the same pattern 3 to the power 2 can be written as 3 to the power 3 divided by 3. Hai na? 3 into 3 into 3 divided by 3. 3 and 3 will get cancelled. So what are you left with? 3 to the power 2 which is equals to 9. Right? Same logic I have used here, here and here. Now similarly, if I take 3 to the power 1, I can write it as 3 to the power 2 divided by 3. And when I take 3 to the power 0, how can I write it? I can write it as 3 to the power 1 divided by 3. What is 3 to the power 1? It is nothing but 3. What is 3 divided by 3? 1. So our 3 to the power 0 is equal to 1 in this sense. This is another proof which will tell you that any number to the power 0 is always equal to 1. Be it a variable, fraction, decimal, irrational number, rational number, integers, natural number, whole numbers. Take any sort of numbers that you know. The logic remains the same. Hope you're happy with this proof. Do share this with your friends. Also like this video if you had fun learning it. And for more such videos, do not forget to subscribe to Bhanzu's ch uh, YouTube channel right now. So I am going to see you again in the next class, guys. So please make sure that uh, you guys are always here on the channel because there's so many videos happening every day. And I am going to go live every day at 6 p.m. for grade 6, 7th and 8th. And I'm going to teach maths. Uh, your school curriculum, your NCRT maths in a very fun way answering all the whys behind it, right? So I'm going to see you again in the next class. Until then, bye-bye.